Look at this guy up here. We got a rider from Tyler, Texas in front of us. On your left. On your left. Don't ride with headphones. On your left. On your left. Come on, Mr. Green. On your right. You okay? Here we go. I'm up I'm going up the trail here. I think it was Sorry, a great brother. run and uh, somebody's husband got in my way <laughs> and uh, this is the husband right here. I got the wife's <laughs> over there. Uh, I'm like on your left. Get off my hand. Oh my love. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos tire test episode. Guys, on today's tire test episode, Boy, we, I hope no one gets triggered on this one. we are going to be trying out the Kenda Honey Badger Downhill Pro tires that were sent to us by our boy, <laughs> old Wes Graves. Have we given Wes Graves credit? We've already given him credit on an entire episode on yes. tires he didn't send. Yes, uh, Wes Graves did not send the ground control grids. <laughs> you ordered those. I, I drunk and eBay those. Alrighty, so we got mixed up, but old Wes Graves is official. He you got us. it mixed up. I got it mixed up. So he has sent us these Honey Badgers. Guys, on today's Today's episode, we are going to be installing them. We're going to do a little initial impressions on these tires, showing you guys what you get. We're going to be weighing them. And then, after the install, we're going to be taking it down to uh, Hayes Creek Run, Mount Nebo State Park. And we're we are putting tubes and running at 35. Putting tubes running at 35. No tubeless action. Those and we tests. are going to do a real time review on this. And then we are going to do a little rating out on the field yeah. and see where these things rate. 27.5 by 2.4. These things have got something listed on them I really like. They should do excellent. Hard pack dry terrain. Mm -hmm. That is hard pack dry some terrain. Of it, some of it's loose. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good mixture. Mm -hmm. These things look nasty. They do. All right, guys. Without further ado, hit that like button. Hit that they subscribe button. Good. Wolf Dick Nation, show you boys some love. Let's break these things open. Let's talk about them and let's weigh them. All right. We got the Honey Badgers. I've been excited about these tires. For a long time, I thought you ordered them. All I want to say is Wes Graves told me that he paid twenty dollars a piece for these. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, that's we, a drunken eBay award. Yeah, that's a drunken eBay award, old Wes Graves. And something I do want to say, guys, is uh, we are going to be. I know somebody's probably like, "Oh well, that's a rear tire or that's a front tire." We're going to be installing them. That's the easiest way for me to be able to do a real time review and give it a proper scoring up there. This is a um, light gravity casing. Okay, that's the first thing it says on there. Dude. That thing's kind of heavy. Well, that, that's I don't a beefy know how tire. much it's going to weigh, but it feels legit. I would be shocked if we get a flat with I these things. Too. Guys, I'll they are crazy thick. Honey Badger Downhill Pros, 27.5 by 2.4 folding bead, uh, 120 TPI casing, tubeless ready, 30 to 50 PSI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean... These things are super Which thick. Which is right up your alley. Because yeah. even when you're tubeless, you don't like to go under like 32. Yeah, I like 35. The sidewall feels like super thick. Right here where the tread is, like I can't even feel my finger making contact through the rubber on the other well, I'm side. I'm excited about them. It, it feels, and this is, I bet these going to be some fast rollers. I mean, this might really give the Deliums uh, some, some, some comp, man. The middle feels super stiff, right? And the outside knobbage here is knobbage. actually really like soft. So I think it's going to be a great corner and I think they're going to be very fast. Front and rear on the aluminum comp Zerker. We're fixing to go out to the trails and test these things and see where they rate, man. Uh, so far, all I know is the feeling rating is going to be a high one and the look's going to be high because that is an excellent looking tire, is it, it not? It looks good and it feels good. Yeah, absolutely. So right. it's going to do good on that part. Let's weigh this thing. We'll see what we got. They're, these things. Iron Matthews. These things are going to be freaking heavy, man. Well, let's see. Let's find out. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta pay the price for having that much heavy dutiness. They're not as bad as you think. Okay, that's not too bad. That is 2.26 pounds. Not not as bad as I thought. No. For all you UKers out there. Although we should give them grams, I think, but it's alright. 1.02 kilograms. Alrighty. Don't go 
next to anything. You're going to grip it and climb right up onto it. I know that side wall's next to Dude, it just, that, uh, I just, I'm, I'm telling you right now, looks wise, these are some of my, these are a little higher on my list. I don't want to influence you too much, but I'm just saying, no, I do look good looking good. Good. good looking good. I, I, I don't think I'm going to go flop. I hope I don't. I hope you don't either, and I don't. And I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna stage it. one. You know, if we're gonna stage a flat on this. Right? <laughs> I hope we don't get a flat on this. I really don't think we're going to, because this sure tire, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna get this lip set first. This damn, this tire's legit, man. Tell you what, well, Big Brother Kevin H sent me this, yeah. the Cush Cord deal. Dude, the, I call it the pacifier. You, you, you have. Look at this. You've been all over. Oh, I love it. It's so easy. I need to start taking this damn thing with me on the trails. You might put it in your pack with the radio. So much e it's so much easier. It's just... a little bulky, but that's what makes it so nice to use. Okay, just inflated the tire. It set really well, but there was like this little inside lip, you know, that kind of is like the guide if the um, tire has, you know, beaded really well. And what's nice is it was lipped in a little bit, and all I did at 35 PSI, some tires are a little bit different, but this one's actually, the sidewalls are tough enough to where I just push up here, and it popped right out. I got a little worried about having to go further than 35 psi, just in you know, in fear that I wasn't get like it popped or something like that the tube. But it was actually quite nice. Sometimes you have to get like soapy water to try to get that bead set. But this right here just right right away. 2.26 pounds with this thing weighed. I'm curious if I can fill that with like the rotating weight, like a lot of people say. You know, like some of the 29ers we've had really heavy tires on those or stock tires. I'm curious. All right, guys. Hey. I'm gonna save you the, the, the time, all right? And I'm going to Sam Pilgrim this thing. All right, you, you guys Sam see it? it? I'm gonna Sam Pilgrim it. Magic is about to happen. All right, you're ready. Thumbs up, one, two, three. That didn't work, hang on. Hang on, ready? One, two, three. What the hell? You lost your Sam Pilgrim mojo? That's the drive side. Bam. What do you think about that? Magic and science. That needs to be our, our motto here at Wolfdick Videos. All right, guys, this one beat it up really well. The Honey Badger Downhill Pro. Without further ado, let's go out to Hayes Creek Run. Comp Zerker. Let's do this. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Dad? I need you to come over here and stop by the uh, sign. Just pull over here real quick. I gotta grab my Lazine computer. I gotta grab my computer. You said that already. Okay, I'll make sure you come over here so I can grab the computer. <laughs> Let me grab this real quick. There we go. All right, thank you. Let's do this. We're going six miles an hour. Hayes Creek Run, the Black Diamond Trail. Dropper is all the way down. I'm in a 12th gear on the calm zerker, baby. We'll see how we do. <clears throat> Honey badgers. Let's get it. Something just hit. Woo! Oh my gosh, they're jumpers. Oh, they like get some mad air. First corner here. Okay, that was uh, took that corner. I'd say I had a decent click. It did pretty well there. My camera's still on there. Got a little bit of chatter in the rear. This is the L2 group set. 12 speed, in case you guys are wondering. 2.4 inch tires, that's the limit. I think I like to go ugh, on tires. I like a good fat tire. 2.4 is about as thin as I wanna go. All right, first turn. All right, all right. Wow, dude, right now I got a little sideways, a little off track. That tire wanted to ride up that sidewall back there, which was very sketch. The middle is so hard compound. Oh, see this turn here. The middle is such a hard compound. I'm feeling everything and we're at 35 PSI like we always are. I mean, holy crap, that's stiff, buddy. We got some speed sections down here to see how fast these things are, but oh my God, I'm feeling everything. Wow, 
they are fast but buddy this bike's like a chatter box right now i'm gonna gear it a little bit all right got a big old savage rock garden here we go oh they've dug almost to a complete stop wow i did not mean to slow down that much but buddy they dug in the dirt got a little feature here oh yeah big turn very loose but we grabbed okay we come down to this little creek bed here Woo! oh yeah wow got a good little speed run here we'll take the top we got a nasty turn coming up where i always have to slam the brakes oh wow oh oh they dug deep wow same tire on the front and the rear they dug deep buddy impressive all right now this is the area we usually get the flat in right here all of our damn tires so i'm wondering we've got the big drop portion over there i don't feel a flat yet so are we finally able to make it through this portion now we got the big drop here oh god that's a big drop oh pedal strike wow no flat so far that's a win these things say that they're very good in the hard pack clay and they're fast and damn they're fast oh god they're fast and they climb anything it's like a bucking bronco these tires have no give 35 psi there's no give on these things man wow they're stiff all right guys hey turn that volume up let's see if we can hear these studs making contact the tread making contact with this trail all right turn up that volume I drifted it oh man about blew up my damn hip again <laughs> you don't want to hear the first story how i blew my hip out i drifted that sucker whoa it's way too fast in that corner oh oh buddy i'm curious wow oh my gosh the uh the honey badgers damn that's an intense tire it's going to be an interesting rating there's not a lot of bad to say about it but they are just so stiff the tread is super stiff you know some tires kind of pride themselves on having really soft outsides and real hard insides for speed this guy here is stiff throughout the board i was wrong i sent initial impressions well when we started to do the uh the um installing of them i was like oh yeah no it feels soft right here no there's no, nothing soft about these i didn't these think tires. they felt soft myself i thought yeah. the new was pretty stiff they were but, sticky yeah. but son of a gun man they are stiff it this thing feels like a like it's a rigid bike i mean mm -hmm. it's not just a hard tower right now it's a rigid this thing feels difficult but the tires are super fast i'm gonna I'm, guess you didn't get any flats no flats no <laughs> flats i just i knew just riding it there weren't gonna be any flats i didn't have nothing to worry about right yeah. <sighs> wow let's see what rates okay so on those tires first of all you enjoyed the ride i take it oh yeah i enjoyed the ride and i think the biggest reason i did was because the cornering ability for the mm -hmm. most part and i didn't get a flat no flat so and you called it, you said I wasn't getting any flats, I didn't, and I did. I said no flats All in right. this one. I mean, look, when I feel a tire, I know when a tire is going to be puncture resistant yeah. and it's not. And that tire, I'm thinking if something's going to go through that tire, it's going to be legit. So the the looks department, the, the, the looks and the feel, obviously, just like everything else is subjective, but it's in a way it's not involving performance, except for the feel. The feel tells me if we're going to have a flat or not. On looks, you gave it a perfect 5 out of 5. You really like the way these tires look. And I will say they're a good-looking tire. I, I love it, man. Um, they don't, they're don't. they not over the top on, mm. on information on the sidewall. The tread, the sidewall pattern, everything, it is a good-looking tire. Yeah, it's a very good-looking tire. Yeah. So definitely so you gave a it five. a 5. Okay. The feel of the mm -hmm. tire, as far as the quality of the craftsmanship, the thickness of the casing, you give it a 4.85, which is also very high. Yeah, damn high. Uh, I don't know if I've seen a perfect 5 yet, you know, but that that's a pretty damn close one out of the 4.8. It's an excellent, it, the tire feels great. Like, it feels so good. The sidewall is just as thick as the meat on the tread side, you know what I mean? Well... I mean, that's a little bit exaggerated, but yes, it is very yeah, thick. Yeah, it's pretty damn intense. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it feels great. Cornering. You gave it a 4.8 out of 5 on cornering. The cornering, guys. You're like on a 4.8 thing. Yeah, it's weird. It, it, the, the cornering was stupid. The cornering was dumb with these things, you know? All I remember reading was, was hard pack, uh, clay, like that's what they're good at. And they're not 
<laughs> There's, that, they're perfect for that. Yeah, the, bur the, you know, front, the berms and stuff. The front are and the right. rear are stupid. Now, I did slip out from over here, but I was prepared to slip out, and I don't want to say that it was the tire's fault because, you know, it's not like you can just go 100 into every corner. But the last corner, I had you guys crank up the noise, and that sucker, I drifted all the way through it. But these things right here, under the right speed, they, they stick. They stick yeah. so good. You get to the straight line traction, and you guessed it, 4.8. A 4.8 on the straight line. <laughs> they did a great job of slowing me down. Those suckers dug. Right before yeah. I got to the Savage Rock Garden, I pretty much stopped. I didn't even mean to. They dug so well, I pretty much got to a standstill. Did, how about the climbing aspect? Climbing was really good. Did you have that one spot after the bridge? Yeah, the little million dollar bridge there, that whole climbing, I mean, it stuck without, without any... Okay. You know, yeah, it was, it was yeah. great. And then, uh, now, the speed. So... The one thing I was worried about when I looked at them and I was filming them, I'm like, I, I don't know if they're going to be a really super fast roller. I didn't say anything. Yeah. But I apparently, thought they were going to be. You, you thought they were going to be faster, but you say now 8.6 out of 10. 8.6 out of 10. So they're, they're not. They're not as fast as some of these no, other ones. And I don't know why they're not. They don't feel stupid fast. There's three crazy fast portions on that trail. You guys all know about them. And this tire didn't get up to that top notch speed like I'm used to most tires doing. Well, the, in, the, in the in the way the tires, it was a 2.26, so it's a two and a quarter pounds, basically. Yeah, two and a quarter pounds. Maybe the weight did play a little bit of a role, but to maybe it's about it now. a mixture of the weight, the the compound, the tread pattern, you know, a little bit mixture of things. It's I don't know. Mixed in. We're it's, not professionals. Yeah, we're scientific, though. Yeah, we're very scientific, extremely. Sometimes we're, we're too scientific for a lot of people. Yeah. They were the first tire that was ever exactly right on 2.40, mm -hmm. which I was shocked. Anyway, so no penalties for that. I am not a huge fan of this tire. I I, I don't want to say that, uh, you know, obviously it, it rated, I think it rated decently high, but I don't like this tire. I, I'm not a fan of it. It's, mm. it's too rough for me. It's not fast enough. Uh, it, it just corners very well. It digs really well. It dig. It, it climbs good. When you say just, you're not a fan of it, mm -hmm. th that's kind of misleading. I know, and I don't want to sound misleading, but no. I just don't like it. Based on? Based on how rough it is, how rough okay. the tread is. It's extremely so rough. it's not it. the tire you don't like. You love the looks of it. Yeah. You love the feel of it. Yeah. It's the roughness that you don't like. I think, um, let's get to it, but I think this tire needs to go on the ledge, the um, you know full suspension. Uh -huh. I think it needs to be on a full suspension bike. I think that would help out tremendously with the feel. Because That's it was, a good idea. It was a rattle trap, man, and those tires... Trying the on the ledge is a good idea. I think it needs to be on the ledge, okay? That has the Ken Amber on it right now. I think we need to put the honey badgers on the ledge. Now, when I read off this score, mm -hmm. I'm, I can't wait for your reaction. So, the Kenda Honey Badger DH Pro 27.5 by 2.4 tires mm -hmm. that you have mixed feelings. You love the look, but not really the ride. Yeah, I don't like the ride. But you I'm, like the performance and the look, just not the ride. Yeah, I guess that's weird. Probably some people well, like, how I, the hell does that I, happen? I think some people might get it. I and mean, there might be some people, people out there going to say, well, you're an idiot. And the people out there going to be like, hey, I get it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, you guys will let us know in the comments, I'm sure. Anyway, okay, so the score of the Kenda's Honey Badger, mm -hmm. 30, 30, 5.74. What? 35.74. 35.74? That's funny. It's the highest damn rated tire, and I don't even like the thing. What the hell? I think that proves one thing on this. This isn't a favoritism thing. Yeah, it's not a favoritism. It's it's you know you. It's you, how I feel, and and I try to be as honest as I can be, and just review the item for what it is, no matter who sent it, no matter how much it costs. I, I try to do that, and I think that proves it. I'm just shocked that it's a thirty-five point seven four. It didn't get any flats. I think no. that really helped you give it better scoring because no frustration with the flat. It looks great. It feels great. You mm. guys all know uh, it's a good jumper. It's it's fast enough. It stops great. The straight line speed. Yeah, it's not like it's slow. It's just not, no. as, it's not as fast as like yeah. the, it's a little slower than the Delium. And it's yeah. way slower than the Specialized. You, you could try them tubeless. No. No. <laughs> But they are 2.4, so I don't know. But uh, all right, guys. Well, you're not going to entertain that. No, one. That, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Our tire I'm gonna, edition. I'm going to say 
that they might and they who knows at 30 pounds tubeless maybe they ride better please subscribe if you guys would like to help out the channel and help us go out to all these different locations and film all day that's a lot of work and yes. we would love it if you guys would uh buy some coffee man show a little bit of support to you we, boys we, we're gonna give a shout out coming up we'll do a coffee somewhere. shout out coming up uh appreciate all of the love out there but yes. yeah definitely check out that link below and if you guys want to see new builds from different stuff well, like that me and wolfman uh you know uh you can check out the uh patreon all right you yeah, can if, you, if you can handle the, the language and intensity, don't feel like you have to help us out with coffee. If you just like, subscribe, and maybe share it or something, that's 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 enough. But if you like it so much that you really want to feel like you're part of helping to drive us to do this, then you can give the extra. All that money goes right back into goes the channel. goes right back into it. Yeah, it ain't going into just a different bank account somewhere. You know, it's going into right to the account. <laughs> it's so. an offshore. Or yeah, something. offshore account. <laughs> But uh, all right, guys. Hey, uh, appreciate you watching, man. We will see you guys on the next one. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs>